going guys and welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while, um, I don't know if you guys spotted my post the other day, um, I've not been posting really because I've just been putting some miles on the car to make sure it's all 100% before I start throwing money at it. Now today is my first modification. Now it's um, obviously for the exhaust, the exhaust on this has got some sort of weird system on it, I have absolutely no, no idea what system's on it, but it just seems, I mean I've looked underneath, it looks like a 3 inch cat back. But it doesn't seem very loud and obviously the one of the best parts about these cars is how they sound so got onto um, every exhaust part which is a local company to me for exhaust um, um i'll leave a link in the description to the, the pipe I'm, put, I'm putting on obviously it's a decap pipe um, so yeah so hopefully now we're fitting that it should make the car more noisier and more loud and actually release the five pot sound that i want but we shall see um, so I'm just heading up to James's now, he's actually putting an, ex uh, an exhaust on his as well. So I might film that as well for you guys, because he's, he's got the, the Ashton VXR. He's taking off his Remus and he's putting on a Miltec race, I think it's called. So yeah, well, uh, I'll, I'll head up to his now and uh, we'll crack on once I give a chance for this car to cool down. And we'll fit his uh, exhaust for him, so I might either make a separate video of that or put it into this one, I don't know. So we'll see you in a minute. Well, then, we're at James's, he's got cars in the air, his exhaust systems partly off obviously that's the new the new exhaust is putting on so in, in the middle of doing this he's taking his remus off and putting on a miltec race full three inch turbo back and tim you will know tim from the channel he's got another car again would you believe it so yeah we're gonna crack on getting this off god knows how long that's gonna take and then hopefully we can make a start on my own but yeah high exhaust right. sit right with this bloody thing um We've undone everything, back box is obviously off. Now we're undoing the downpipe. Well, James isn't doing the downpipe because where the, the the cat meets the center section, it's just like, it's stuck there forever. So we're kind of hoping we can drop down the downpipe and then drag the, drag the whole exhaust out as one. Well, we'll see. Well, then guys, we're off. Um, just put them next to each other. Obviously this first one here, that's the Remus. And that's the uh, Miltec. So it doesn't really look massively different, but it's more the front end. I don't know if you guys can really see the bottleneck on the Remus here compared to here. Sort of stays uniform all the way up, whereas that sort of bottleneck's in there and goes really skinny. And obviously here as well on the Remus, there's a, I'm sure there's some sort of kink here. You guys might be able to know more than me. I'm sure there's a kink somewhere on, on the around here, which causes a restriction on the Remus. And there as well. Oh yeah, that's the one, isn't it? There. That's obviously a big kink in there. Obviously, it's just all round here, so I reckon it should sound pretty good, not too overly loud. But yeah, then get on with that. I think. Right then, the exhaust is on. Let's see the first start. That sounds alright. That does. It's not blowing from the front either, is it? from the middle I think or is it or is it just that raspy noise they do so on his first on his road test then let's have a listen right it's the focus's turn obviously this is a decap pipe here we've already got a, a spacer for it it comes with the nuts and bolts gaskets either end and for like 40 quid can't really moan so yeah i'm not looking forward to doing these bolts i don't know if you guys can really see they're no longer bolts they're a lot more spherical blobs of rust so we're going to snap them off or grind them off i think preferably we could snap them off less mess but we shall see like i said this is the exhaust that's on it but i have absolutely no idea what brand it is some random no make well let's crack on and getting this off bolt and not that, that end bolt and not that end also the lamba need to try and find out where the lamba's plugged in so we can unplug it off the car bring it all down as one right then guys sit wreck sort of got the exhaust bit cut off um those two bolts were actually bolt well one of them was a bolt and nut the other one was a, a blob of rust and a nut <laughs> 
but managed to get it off. However, these ones, absolutely no chance. Absolutely no chance. So they're going to have to grind it off. Luckily, the Lamba sensor plug is literally just, you can't really see it here, but it's just literally right there. So if you do it on your car, you haven't got to go into the engine bag to unplug it. It's literally just like that. And it reminds me of the, um, the Astra headlights plugs it's like that that red sort of thing that's like that that's brittle and you push it out and the plug come the plug comes out for the lamba so yeah i can't be trusted with a grinder so james has got his uncle doing it for me <laughs> with my luck i'd probably chop my head off or something <laughs> Well, that was an absolute nightmare. Um, got the cat, got the uh, the cat off. Took a lot of grind to get off. Don't know how long it, that exhaust has been on, but pff, the bolts were stuck. So now we're just heating up the Lamber sensor now because the Lamber sensor is stuck in the cat. <laughs> so we have to get some heat into it so we can crack it. And um, I can't remember what I did with my, my Lamber socket, so I'm having to use some. We having to use spanners. But hopefully this is all worth it, guys. It's been an absolute nightmare. It took us longer to do, but try and put a decant on than it did on James's full system, his full exhaust. So, but his has been off a lot of times, so which is probably this hasn't been a part in God knows how long. But yeah, hopefully it's worth it, guys. Uh, right then, as you can see, we're in. Uh, I've just got to clean the Lambert for because it was an absolute pig to get out of the cat. It's probably been in there since year dot. So, just trying to clean the thread up a little bit now. Well, James is. And I stood there watching like a moron. <laughs> well, God, this has been a nightmare, guys. I said it took longer to do this than it is to do James's full system. Oh, it's better be worth it. <laughs> right then, we're all together. First start now, guys. Let's see how it sounds. Louder, guys. You can hear the turbos now more. Or turbos, turbo. So they are, guys. Um, what I'll do is I'll try and get some shots of uh, some revy ones once it's, once it's up to temperature, and uh, some maybe a little dry boil summer, but. Yeah, I'll, I'll include these after this clip, after, after this bit of the clip in the video, really. Um, huge thanks to James for today, mate. Nice one, mate. Appreciate that. And uh, if you've made it this far into the video, um, me and James are going to be in box valves tomorrow. I know I've got a Ford, but I thought my VXR's guys. So, yeah. So if you're about there tomorrow, feel free to come say hi. So enjoy the rest of the video, and I'll see you on the next one.